Hey everybody, this is Milo. Thanks for tuning in. Today I want to show you a game called Trine 2. Trine 2 is a side-scrolling game of action puzzles and platforming, which is uh, very fun, one of the most beautiful games I saw in 2012. Uh, and I want to show you how it runs and performs on Steam for Linux running atop an Ubuntu 12.10 installation. So, as you can see here, that's uh, these are my system informations as I just said running Ubuntu 12.10 64 bit OS type here's some performance specs about my computer 4 gig of RAM quad core AMD processor GeForce GTX 460 graphics card using the NVIDIA experimental 310 proprietary driver as Valve recommends for Steam for Linux so here we go we can see here Steam for Linux I have tried to already purchased and installed and yeah let's see how it runs we just click the play button okay some random steam news we don't care about right now I'm sorry for that we click the play button and what we see first is the trying to launcher appearing so here you can set up your screen resolution um, choosing automatic will at least try to run the game in full screen um, we will come back to this uh, in a few minutes because there are some issues. Uh, yeah, you can set your up your anti-aliasing settings, vertical sync, graphics details. Uh, the game is really beautiful, but it's not all too demanding on your hardware, so you should be able to run it on really high graphics details. So let's start the game. Um, I hope you don't have any jitter or lag in the recording. Um, this is my first recording, so please bear with me. Uh, if you have any ideas or comments, yeah, please let me know in the comment section of the video. So let's start up the game. I think we are already seeing the first issue here. Um, for the fact being that, yeah, the game is not starting in full screen, but the Unity overlay, yeah, the Ubuntu desktop remains on top, which is actually, yeah not the way I want to play the game. Some really don't care because they play in window mode. I really don't like playing in windowed mode. I think it's way more immersive to play games in full screen. Um, so this is an issue I was not able to fix completely. There mm. are some yeah, tweaks you can find in the Steam for Linux forums related to trying to Let's just try it again. This time, yeah, let's use the enter button to start trying to instead of clicking on it. There you go. I'm not sure if that's really what makes the difference. Uh, but yeah, that's one of the issues I encountered with trying to. The full screen mode is not working all that reliably. But once it starts in full screen, the way you probably want to play this game. You can see that yeah, the game just loads. Um, there wasn't any tweaking for this. So I just installed the game from Steam for Linux exactly the same way you would have done on a Windows installation. You just hit play and here you go. You see the performance is decent. So it's definitely playable. It looks good on the high detail settings, so that's fine. I'm gonna switch between the characters. So yeah, definitely a nice playable experience. Um, but yeah, on the downside, back to the full screen issue. You can see now the game started in full screen, but there is another problem. What I like to do, or uh, at least I definitely want to be able to do, is tabbing out and tabbing back into a game that is running in full screen. So for example if you have empathy or some instant messaging program running in the background you get a notification that somebody just wrote you a message while you're in game. You just want to tab out of the game like so. Respond to the message and tab back in. And here you see the problem. As soon as you minimize the game when going back to the game Unity so this Ubuntu desktop interface remains on top again and there's no way to 
hide it so now you're running in the same problem we just had before when starting the game you cannot get back to full screen you are forced to leave the game and start it back up again so that's a yep minor issue it depends for me it's not minor because as I said I definitely want to run uh, games in full screen and I also want to be able to tap out and tap back into them so so not a flawless out of the box experience but definitely something worth checking out if you were thinking to switch from your Windows installation or maybe you own the game already and you want to see how it works on, on Ubuntu now you know I hope I could help a, bit, a little bit, give you some insight on Steam for Linux and try and choose specifically. So I hope you enjoyed the video. This was my fresh screencast as already said. So please let me know what you think of it, about yeah everything, the content I showed you, uh, the recording quality. Let me know in the comments. I would definitely appreciate that. So that's all for me now. Uh, this was Melo. Thank you for watching and see you next time.